Sully. Oh man, you feel like you have a fever. Come here. Uh, well, I don't know how much I'm supposed to give you. Your brother is about twice your size and it says for his weight you should get four tablespoons. So we're going to give you two tablespoons. Does that sound right? Okay. Let me do it. There's one, and then two tablespoons. All right, well, I gotta go to work, so I'll see you tonight, little guy. All right, you're gonna be late for work. You better hurry up. You're to me. Hi, Sullivan. Oh, man, your dad didn't tell me that you had a fever and your nose is really runny. All right, I'm gonna go get your Tylenol. This stuff really helps with fevers. You're still brushing your teeth. All right, well, I'll just give you a couple squirts. Some more? Can you take your toothbrush out of your mouth? All right. And your nose is pretty runny, so I'll give you some of this. It doesn't say Tylenol, it just says acetaminophen, so it should be okay. You want some? Oh, yeah, that's good. All right, hopefully your babysitter gets here soon. All right, Sully, you go ahead and play. Sully, what are you doing? No, we can't play with this. This isn't, uh-oh, this isn't good. We'll put this away. Tylenol, how'd you get a hold of that? All right. We'll have to tell your mom about that. <laughs> Tylenol is a medication that can be very useful in treating fever and pain in children. Read the label carefully to determine the correct dosage based on your child's age and weight. Too much Tylenol impairs function of the liver and an overdose can be life-threatening. According to the Mayo Clinic, you should seek emergency care if your child swallows 91 milligrams per pound of weight in 24 hours or 10,000 milligrams, whichever is less. For a 20 pound infant, that's only 3.6 teaspoons of infant drops, 11 chewable tablets, or just three and a half adult tablets. If your child overdoses on acetaminophen, they will most likely be treated with activated charcoal and an antidote within 10 hours of ingestion. It is important to seek treatment right away. According to the Mayo Clinic, the most common causes of acetaminophen overdose are, one, being in a hurry and not measuring or not realizing that another caregiver has given the medication already. Two, combining medications if your child has a cold. Remember that different cold medications contain acetaminophen. Be sure to read the labels and ask a doctor. Three, you use the wrong formulation. Be sure you are giving the correct dosage for the form you are using. Tablets, infant drops, children's liquid, and chewable tablets all contain different amounts of acetaminophen in the same volume. Substituting infant drops for syrup could lead to an overdose because they are more concentrated. Four, deciding that more is better. And five, your child mistakes the medication for candy or juice. Soon after taking an overdose of acetaminophen, or more commonly known as Tylenol, symptoms may not be present right away and may take up to 24 hours to appear. At that point, common symptoms include nausea, vomiting, not feeling well, poor appetite, abdominal pain, or yellowing of the skin known as jaundice. You must call a doctor, a poison control center, or emergency medical services for any suspected acetaminophen overdose. The sooner treatment is started, the better. Go to the hospital's emergency department if the poison control center tells you to go. If the person suspected to have taken an overdose of acetaminophen is unconscious, semi-conscious, or not breathing, call 911 immediately. If a child took acetaminophen without adult supervision and may have taken an overdose, seek immediate medical attention.